Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today guys, we're going to do an idea which I've noticed a few of you asking me to do over the past couple of days. No, not even days actually. Let's say the last couple of months or years. I have seen so many of you guys asking me to do this, and I don't know why I haven't done this, because we've done so many things similar to this, but not quite this. And what we're going to do is actually respawn Brad in GTA 5, and we're going to introduce him, or reintroduce him, to Michael, to Trevor, and then introduce him to Franklin. I don't know if Franklin's going to do anything, but Michael and Trevor, I'm interested to see what happens, especially with Michael. I can just imagine respawning Brad in at some point in GTA 5 and then Michael just like going after him straight away like, no! <laughs> Get back to North Yankton! So either way, guys, we're gonna discover quite a few interesting things and I think it's only suitable we start a new game and we go from prologue. So, um, yeah, Brad, where is he? Uh, oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Brad? Don't worry. You're not gonna get taken out. Okay, I'm just gonna race through this as fast as we can. And once this is done, we're then going to respawn Brad in and we're going to begin to introduce him to the characters. Let me know in the comments below, by the way. This is one of those videos where you can actually comment what you think is going to happen. I think Michael is going to try and take out Brad again before Trevor discovers him. I've also got a few other ideas I want to try out on this. I can tell this is gonna turn out to be quite a funny video, guys. I've got so many plans to do with this just to try and put Brad in certain situations where he's not meant to be in GTA 5, which is pretty much 99% of the entire campaign. So yeah, for those of you guys who are new to the game and may not have known all of the things about Prologue and stuff, Brad gets taken out by Dave in Prologue, and it's completely set up by Michael. So Michael goes behind the back of everyone, he pretends to be taken out, and then by the end of Prologue, Brad gets taken out, Trevor runs away and gets lost in sandy shores or something. Uh, so now we're going to drive over to the end of the mission, and Brad is going to get taken out. Now right after after this, we're going to respawn Brad. We're going to make sure nothing ever happened, and we're going to begin to introduce him to other characters, guys. For the entire campaign, Brad becomes a massive topic, and the moment Trevor finds out what Michael did, um, things don't really go too well between them for a little bit, guys. Uh, so this is what happens. Brad gets taken out by Dave. You know, good old Dave there. Just completely going behind the back of everyone. It was meant to go for Trevor, by the way, guys. For those of you who didn't know, Brad got in the way. So Brad was meant to be sent away. Trevor was meant to get taken out because he's the crazy one. And Michael was supposed to pretend he's been taken out, which is why there's nothing there. I'm just, I'm telling you guys what you already know, pretty much. All right. We are 3% into campaign. We're pretty much right at the start. We've unlocked Michael. We've unlocked Franklin. And what is Michael doing? He is in his room. And Amanda does not want anything to do with him. Oh. Oh, poor Michael. Oh, my days. The American dream didn't quite work out for him, guys. Not quite at all. But don't worry. Everything is going to go to waste, Michael, because we're going to respawn Brad. He is going to be so angry. All right. Well, let's spawn in Brad, guys. In order to do this, we're going to go into this. We're going to go into this. And we're going to scroll down. And Brad is... He'll be at the top somewhere. Brad, Brad, Brad. There he is, guys. Oh, my goodness. It is good to see you again, Brad. It is good to see you again, buddy. Do we spawn in? outside or inside? Let's do, let's spawn him inside the house. Oh my days. All right, let's do this. Uh, there we go. He spawned in. Pedestrian options. Become this pedestrian. So now we are playing as Brad in a GTA 5, even though he's been taken out. And now we've done this a couple of times, but I haven't done it to the extent of actually introducing him to every single protagonist in this game and also doing a few other things, which I've got up my sleeve later on in this video as well, guys. So I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be exciting nonetheless, guys and I hope we get some very interesting scenarios. <laughs> Michael? 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 Hello? Michael, it's me. It's, it's Brad. <laughs> He's not saying anything. Michael, come on, say something, dude. He's actually not saying anything. This is this is different, by the way, guys. If you bump into Michael, regardless of who you are, he will say like, oh, watch out. Oh, stop or something. You know, he will just act like a normal person telling you stop going into me. But for some reason, he's not doing anything when we go into him. Oh, this is strange. This is really strange. Why isn't he saying anything? All right, let's go and speak to Tracy. What's up, Tracy? Okay, I'm trying to press the, like, the speech key as well, but Tracy isn't saying anything to me. This is so confusing. Let's go over to Jimmy. Jimmy? <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy, look, it's me. It's me, Brad. Nobody cares. Nobody is saying anything to me. It's not like anyone is even recognizing Brad. Look, Jimmy's just looking around me like, hey, can you just move out the way? I want to play my game. Jimmy, it's Brad. Don't you remember me, dude? Clearly not. Clearly not, guys. Let's go and see a 
Amanda. Hey, what's up, Amanda? Look, look who it is. It's Brad. Oh, my days. She does not look happy. All right, let's see what happens if we start firing rockets at Michael's house. Does Michael have Brad's number, guys? Um, probably not. But if he does message us, like he will message anyone who fires rockets at Michael's house, then that's just going to completely blow my mind and be like, Michael, did you keep my number the entire time? Come on, Michael. Come on, dude. Send me a message. Come on. Come on, dude. Say the message, dude. Say stop firing rockets at my house, dude. Amanda, I'm taking out your vehicle. You can blame Michael for this. You know, I'm really expecting Michael to come out of that door chasing me down like Brad. <laughs> You're going down. Perfection. Someone said something. Someone just... Was that Brad? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Someone said something. I think it was Brad. It sounded like him, but it could have been Michael. I don't know. Right. Before we go and visit Trevor, um, we're going to visit Franklin just briefly and see if Franklin says anything. Uh, Tracy's still here and Michael is still over there, guys. Everyone is still doing their own thing. Yeah, guys. It doesn't seem as though they really want to talk to Brad. Let's see what happens if we introduce Brad to Franklin, though. They don't really know each other. They've never really met, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know for a fact that Franklin knows about Brad. He knows kind of what happened, I guess, through Trevor and Michael. It's not really the full story, but he does get the idea. Right, I've spawned him in, and Brad isn't saying anything. He, he doesn't even know who we are, to be honest. Uh, so let's become Brad instead. But yeah, he has no idea who we are, but we kind of know who he is. But we don't know what he looks like. We don't know what he looks like. Yeah, that does kind of speak for itself. If you just do this, they're just acting like two normal NPCs. Yeah, but look, Franklin is talking to me. He's like, hey, hey, stop going into me. Unlike Michael, where Michael would just let it happen. So it's as if Michael is very ashamed of what happened in prologue, so much so that he won't even defend himself when he sees Brad, which does make sense. Dangerous. Oh my days, Brad actually has lines. So I didn't know this, but Brad actually has his own dialogue. And I don't hear this in prologue at all. It's like new lines coming out of him. I can't really feature them all because they're not really the nicest lines. But he does have different dialogue other than what we have seen in prologue, which is very interesting. Let's go and introduce him to Trevor, though, and uh, see what Trevor says. Trevor! <laughs> Trevor, it's me! I'm out of the prison! Dude, I told you I'll be back. It's Brad, Trevor. What happens if we do this? Come on, Trevor, come on. Come on, come outside, dude. Come outside. What is he going to say? Dude, I can imagine Ron in the background just like, oh, no. No, I've been replaced. Come on, please say something. Go on, dude, say something. Look, it's Brad. Nothing's being said yet. I'm trying to press the speech key, and Trevor isn't saying anything to him. Let's see what happens if we get his attention. Jeez, Trevor, why? He's not even a friendly in this game. Oh my days. I'm sorry, Brad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why isn't he a friendly? He was meant to be on our team in prologue, but he's not a friendly. Oh my days. They've, they've completely cast him away. Like, no, this guy is not your friend. Oh my days. I just took out Brad. Uh, okay. We'll pretend that didn't happen, guys. We'll spawn in another one. All right, this time we're going to play as Brad. All right, let's see what happens if we walk up to Trevor. Is Trevor a friendly? Maybe. Maybe, guys. Maybe Trevor's a friendly, but we're not a friendly to him. Let's see. Can we take out Trevor? If I show you guys, look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take out Trevor and it won't let me. It won't let me, guys. Right, we're going to try out something else, guys. I'm going to do the mission where it all matters, okay? We're going to do the mission where Trevor finds out the truth. And we're going to see what happens if we spawn in Brad in that mission. So when they're talking about Brad in the grave, Brad is standing there right with them. And to make this even more interesting, I'm going to make Brad a companion, which means they have to acknowledge him, basically. All right, so before we actually go over to the Ludendorff Cemetery, we're going to spawn in Brad. Don't worry, Brad. Come on, I'm gonna need you. We're gonna completely change the truth in this. The entire plot of this mission, it's gonna be changed. Brad, I need your help, dude. Right, we're gonna get out of the vehicle and I'm going to make him my companion. Hey, Brad, so I just wanted to let Trevor know the truth. You know, the real truth. The truth that you still exist. You're still here. I totally didn't take you out in prologue. Alright, here's the cemetery. Come on, Brad. Let's go, dude. Go to your grave. Oh. Oh, Brad, you're not gonna like this, dude. You're not gonna like this. Oh, my days. So we have Brad following us. Trevor is undoubtedly in there digging up the grave already. Brad, you are not gonna like this. I'm just telling you that right now. Guys, what do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comments below. I want something to happen. You know, I don't really care what at this point. I just want something to happen, uh, which just changes the mission, I guess. I just want something to happen, guys. Brad is following me, and he's my companion. If he's with us the entire time, then he can't be taken out inside the grave. You know, it's just logic. It doesn't make sense. You can't have two of the same person. Look behind me, dude. Brad's here. <laughs> Trevor, look, Brad's here. He's, he's right behind me, T. It's like Michael is curious as well. Like, who are you gonna find? Let's see. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I don't know that guy. That's not Brad. <laughs> 
also, Brad is still in the grave. <laughs> Brad's just standing there like, what's going on? <laughs> Can someone explain? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot. I did. That's, that's it. No, this is strange. This is strange. The mission still plays itself and Brad isn't doing anything. I know there's scenes and scenes can't really be altered, but when there's other characters in this scene, they can play a role in that. They can do whatever they want to, as we have experienced when we managed to get Trevor and Franklin to take out Michael. You know, other characters can impact those scenes. But what we're looking at right now is Brad doesn't want to do anything. He is not doing anything, guys. He is just standing there watching this play out. And as confused as he looks, he's not doing anything. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he is not doing anything, guys. This is so strange. Oh, Brad, come on. Get down, dude. Get down. This is not going to end well, dude. But again, Brad isn't doing anything. He's just standing there looking so confused. I guess this probably is a massive revelation for him. Like, wait, I was in there the entire time? Yeah, he's still down there. He's still down there, guys. But Brad is still there. How interesting. But either way, I'm going to end the video here. This was so much fun. Um, so many things happened which I just wasn't expecting in today's episode and, uh, it's clear to say that Michael is ashamed of what happened to Brad. You know, you can tell that because he won't respond to him when you walk into him or when you try and move him or talk to him. He won't respond whatsoever. He just lets you do your thing. But most importantly, the main thing we discovered is that he's not a friend to any of the characters throughout campaign. He's not a friend in this game. You can take him out whenever you want to, which is what we discovered with Trevor, but in Brad's perspective, everyone is his friend. So it's very interesting how Rockstar Games have kind of coded this, but either way, guys, I'm, I'm very surprised with this, and I was not expecting many of these outcomes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, if you did, be sure to drop a like on it. We're getting very close to 3 million subscribers, so again, if you guys are not subscribed, please make sure you do so. That would be amazing, and let me know in the comments below anything else you want to see me do in GTA 5. I try to read as many comments as possible, so you never know, guys. Your idea might make it in into another video. But guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and I will see you guys next time.